So if you watch the catering sales funnel video, you already know the importance of putting all qualified prospects and customers into your database. So I'm going to show you how to do that today through the CRM or the Customer Relationship Manager. So you'll go up to this tab on the top and press CRM. On the left, there'll be an option to add a new contact right at the top. So you'll press that and there'll be a bunch of information to put in. So you'll start with first name, go to last name. Um, there's a place for the company name. So I'll just put in a school system. And then there's an option for group. So this um, sorts what kind of organization this is. So in this case, it's schools. There's other information to put in, such as email, phone number, fax, address. We'll go ahead and put in an address. And once you're done putting in all this information, you'll go to the bottom right corner and there'll be an option to save contact. So you'll press that and the contact is now saved. All right, so let's say you wanna search for the contact at a later time. You'll go to this left and press contact list. And when you get there, there's an option to search. So I'll put the first and last name of the customer there. We have Jane Doe. And let's say once you go to the customer page, you want to set a to do to remind you to do something on your calendar. So up at this top, there are a bunch of icons. You'll go to the third one and it'll say to do. And then an option will come up to say create a to do for the customer. OK, so once you get there, um, the first thing to do is assign who's going to handle this. So there, you know, you'll have a list of the employees who would handle this. You'll select which one this is relevant to. Um, and then next, you'll schedule this. So you'll pick the date. Um, you'll pick the time that you want this to get done. Next, there's a type of activity. So it can be a generic to do slash activity. It can be sending a message. It can be scheduling a meeting. Uh, we'll call it a telephone call for this uh, demonstration. And then there's a place to put a display name and a description. So we'll put just generally it's a callback. And then under description, we'll say callback Jane Doe from Metro Schools. Uh, to place order. So you'll put whatever the activity is, you'll describe it there. Once you're done putting in all this information, you'll go to the bottom right corner and press save activity. Once you save this activity, you can go to the calendar and look and it'll put it on there for you under the customer name. So right now we have May 11th, Jane Doe. Um, I can press on her and it will say date, it'll say the time, it'll say what the activity is, it'll describe it for me. Um, next time I will make a video showing how to create a quote using this software.